Welcome to the tutorial series, How to Play the Savage Soul. In this tutorial, we'll be discussing how to resolve attacks in the Savage Soul. The system for resolving attacks relies upon the core mechanics described in the first tutorial of this series. Specifically, making an attack is resolved as an ordinary task with a difficulty factor equal to the target's current passive defense. Thereafter, defending against a successful attack, either with a block or a dodge, is resolved by the target as a competing task against the attacker's attack total. These two task attempts will determine whether the attack succeeds or fails, and will also determine the success margin, which is important for damage and other purposes. The first step in resolving any attack is determining the attack total, which is equal to the attacker's attack bonus plus the result of a d10 roll. As a result, the very first thing an attacker must do is determine his attack bonus. Attack bonus will usually be based upon the attacker's current score with the relevant attribute, either melee attack or ranged attack, plus any bonus for peculiarities, such as swordsman or man-at-arms, plus any bonus for weapon quality, plus any miscellaneous modifiers, such as for range, reactions, special attacks, visibility, etc. With the exception of the final modifier, an attacker will be able to determine the attack bonus for all of his weapons in advance. And in fact, the Savage Soul character generator, available for free at savagesoul.com, will do this automatically. Once attack bonus has been determined, the attacker rolls a d10 and adds the result to determine his attack total. If the attacker rolls a natural 10, he may employ the natural 10 rule described in the core mechanics tutorial. If the attacker rolls a natural 1, the attack automatically fails with an attack total of 0. The next step is to compare the attack total to the target's current passive defense score. This will be based upon the target's passive defense attribute score based upon the target's size, and then modified by various factors, such as target speed, cover, and whether the target is inanimate or helpless. For example, an average-sized human standing still in the open and not helpless will have a passive defense of 10. If the attack total is less than the target's current passive defense, the attack misses and there is no need for the target to attempt active defense. If the attack total equals or exceeds the target's passive defense, however, the attack will hit with a success margin equal to the difference. It is then up to the target to attempt to block or dodge the attack. As explained in the tutorial on actions and reactions, when a character is subject to an attack that equals or exceeds the character's passive defense, that character may declare an active defense reaction. This will afford the character a chance to block or dodge the attack. In such a case, the first thing the defending character must do is determine his applicable block or dodge bonus. This will almost always be based upon the character's current defense attribute score plus any applicable peculiarity bonus, plus any applicable bonus for weapon quality, plus any miscellaneous modifiers such as from behind or cannot see. Again, with the exception of the miscellaneous modifiers, each character will be able to determine his block and dodge bonuses in advance. And again, the character generator will do this automatically. Once the defending character has determined his block or dodge bonus, he adds the result of a d10 to determine his block total or dodge total. If the defender rolls a 10 on his d10, the block or dodge is automatically successful. And if the defender rolls a 1 on his d10, the defense attempt automatically fails 
with a block total or dodge total of zero. Otherwise, the defender compares his defense total to the attack total. If the block or dodge total equals or exceeds the attack total, the attack fails. But even if the block or dodge total is less than the attack total, it may still reduce the success margin of the attack, provided the block or dodge total is higher than the defender's passive defense. For example, the alien soldier Julie is being charged by a hostile thugger. Before the thugger can reach her, Julie declares an attack a moving character reaction and attempts to shoot the thugger with her laser rifle. Julie's attack bonus for this attack will be plus five. This is based upon Julie's ranged attack score of six, plus one because she has the rifleman peculiarity at level three, and minus two because she is performing an attack a moving character reaction. Julie rolls an eight on her d10 for an attack total of 13. The thugger's current passive defense is 11, which is based on his passive defense attribute score of 10, plus one because he is moving at speed 20. So, because Julie's attack total exceeds the thugger's passive defense by two, Julie's attack hits with a success margin of two. The thugger then declares an active defense reaction and attempts to dodge Julie's attack. The thugger's dodge bonus is plus seven, which is based upon his dodge attribute score of six, plus one because he has the unarmed fighter peculiarity at level two. The thugger rolls a five on his d10 for a dodge total of 12. Because this is less than Julie's attack total of 13, the thugger does not completely avoid the attack. But because the thugger's dodge total of 12 is higher than his current passive defense of 11, the thugger manages to reduce Julie's success margin from two to one. So what is the difference between blocking and dodging? A block involves the defender using an object to deflect the attack. As a result, a character can only attempt a block if he is holding an object that weighs 0.5 kilograms or more. In the Savage Soul, an unarmed block is considered a dodge. Accordingly, a dodge involves a character attempting to move out of the way of an attack or, alternatively, to thwart the attack using an unarmed combat technique. All dodge attempts have the ability to reduce the success margin of an attack, either melee or ranged, even if they do not completely negate the attack. Blocks, on the other hand, can only reduce the success margin of melee attacks. Against ranged attacks, blocks are all or nothing. In other words, if a defender attempts a ranged block and his block total does not equal or exceed the attack total, his block attempt has no effect and the success margin of the attack will be based only upon the defender's passive defense. Additionally, in most cases, a character's ranged block bonus will be lower than his melee block bonus and often lower than his dodge bonus. So, in most cases, it is best to block melee attacks and dodge ranged attacks. A block attempt with a shield is somewhat different from a block attempt with a weapon or object. Shields provide a block bonus based upon the size of the shield relative to the size of the defender and do not suffer the usual penalty for ranged block attempts. Nonetheless, like any other ranged block, a ranged block attempt with a shield is an all or nothing proposition. And if the shield block total does not equal or exceed the attack total, the shield block will have no effect. See the Savage Soul for special rules regarding shields. When attempting any ranged attack, the attacker will apply a penalty based upon the distance between the attacker and the target at the time the attack is made. 
Each ranged weapon has a range score, which will reflect the distance at which the weapon will suffer a minus one attack penalty. Thus, for each such increment rounded down, the attack bonus will be reduced by one. For example, Julie's laser rifle has a range of 20. This means Julie will suffer an attack penalty of minus one for every 20 meters of distance between her and a target rounded down. If a weapon lists two range scores, such as Julie's 2050, the second score applies if the attacker is aiming at the target, having previously performed an aim action, as described in the tutorial on actions and reactions. So, if Julie were shooting at a target that is 30 meters away, Julie would reduce her attack bonus by one, because the range of her laser rifle is 20. If Julie were aiming, however, her weapon's range score would increase to 50, and she would suffer no range penalty against a target 30 meters away. The rules of the Savage Soul provide for various special attacks an attacker may attempt to perform. Any such special attack must be announced before the attacker determines his attack total, and most will apply an attack penalty. Some common special attacks are Sweeping Blow, Multi-Weapon Attack, Knockout Blow, and Crippling Blow. Each of these special attacks and their specific effects are described in the Savage Soul rules. While this may all sound complicated, here's the way resolving an attack will actually play out in real time. Okay, the Thugger is going to perform a charge and strike. When he closes to less than 20 meters, Julie is going to perform an attack of moving character reaction. Julie's attack total is plus seven, minus two for the attack of moving character for a total of plus five. Five plus eight is 13. The Thugger's current passive defense is 11. So Julie's shot hits with a success margin of two. The Thugger then attempts to dodge with a dodge bonus of plus seven. The Thugger's dodge total is 12, so he reduces Julie's success margin by one. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. The next tutorial will discuss the Savage Soul damage system, which is one of the things that makes the Savage Soul truly unique. If you're enjoying these tutorials, please like and subscribe. Thank you.